Everyone loves a good upset here and there. Upsets in college football last a lifetime and are never forgotten, especially by the fans whose teams lost that horrible day. This is B. Kelly back again with another banger. 2007, the Big 12 actually had 12 teams. Tim Tebow won the Heisman. Kansas was 12-1 and, and Notre Dame sucked. But we're not going to talk about that today. Instead, we're going to talk about how there were 73 upsets in the 2007 college football season. It all started off when Appalachian State went to the big house to play Michigan. This is probably the most known upset in college football. Just to put this in perspective, Appalachian State was an FCS team playing the number 5 team in the nation. Not only that, but Michigan seemed destined to go to the BCS that year, and they were favored to win by 33 points. Everyone thought this game was going to be a bloodbath, but they were wrong. Armani, I feel like I'm about to kick right now, like old man. Black and gold, try to pull off the shock of all shocks. The kick is on its way, and it is through the uprights. The Mountaineers have retaken the lead with 26 seconds to play. Kicking right to left. The snap's good, the whole... Block! Block! Oh! The kick is... Oh! The Mountaineers have just beaten the Michigan Wolverines! The Mountaineers of Appalachian State have just beaten... the 2007 season was brutal to many teams but OU the Sooners suffered three times in one season. The first case was when the number three Sooners took on the Colorado Buffaloes, and they were supposed to win by 24, but would end up losing the game by three. The second time was when OU lost to Texas Tech. The Sooners would start off way too slow for them to win the game. The final time was in the bowl game that season against West Virginia. Now, everyone thought this game was going to be a close contest, but everybody was shocked when West Virginia won by 20. The odd thing about OU this season is that they lost three times when they were the number three team in the nation. Saban's first year in Bama may have only had seven wins, but they were supposed to win this game in a blowout fashion against Louisiana Monroe. Bama was supposed to win by 25, but they lost by seven. Later in the season, one of the most electrifying teams, West Virginia, seemed destined to go to the Natty if they just won this game. This big game was their last regular season game, and they were playing Pitt. West Virginia was ranked number two in the nation. West Virginia was bouncing back pretty good after they got upset by USF earlier in the season. West Virginia fans thought they were going to the ship. They had every right to. Pitt was unranked and 4-7 and seven going into this game. Not only that, West Virginia was supposed to win by 29 points, but West Virginia ended up losing by 4. Now we're going to talk about one of the biggest upsets of all time that happened this season. 1-3 Stanford was going to play the powerhouse, the maker of Leinart, and Bush, the undefeated USC Trojans. USC was supposed to win this game by 42 points, but Stanford was out for blood. Stanford started off slow, and the offense was terrible that night, but Stanford's quarterback only completed 37% of his passes, which is horrendous. But Stanford's defense showed up, and they picked up four interceptions. Stanford would end up winning the game 24-23. This is it for today's video, guys. If you want to see the full 73 upsets, check out SB Nation's story about it. 
That's going to be it, guys. Remember to smash that like button, subscribe, and turn the post notifications on.